Ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto and Kenya Kwanza have actually crossed the red line. So I ask myself, what does this government want? Because if it wants me, the fact that I've been silent doesn't mean I'm scared. Come for me. Why do I, what, what does my mother have to do with anything? What does uh, my children have to do with anything? Come should the enemy mean me? I'm here. Right? Yeah, they know where I am 24-7. Right? Why, why all this? Intimidate a 90-year-old woman. Intimidate children. Right? If it is me you want, what, you come and tell us what you want. Yeah. Mr. President. And if it's true that they raided Uru Kenyatta's son residence, then it's just a matter of time. Because they should tell me what they want with my children. Yeah? Do they want? They've removed their security. Now I hear they want to remove their, their personal weapons. So what? Are they wanting to do that because they are planning something? And if they are planning something, yeah, my only plea, don't plan against my mother, don't plan against my children, plan for me. If it is me you want. Leave them alone. What do they have to do with anything? Yeah? And the question is, why would William Ruto's government, for that matter Kenya Kwanza, decide to raid the home or the residence of Uru Kenyatta's eldest son? This is a gentleman, they withdrew their security. Why would they raid that home in the evening? Uh, unfortunately, I was uh, in the office doing uh, other work, so I just told them just keep the gate closed. And I am now here, and I understand now they have left. Because I wanted to ask them, what are you doing in my son's home? I paid very close attention to Uru Kenyatta when he was addressing the press. The body language. I want to tell you that Uru Kenyatta is not a happy man. Mm. Do you believe this has uh, anything to do with the ongoing protests and of course having the opposition claiming? Uh, 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 the, the, unfortunately, the I have no other explanation to give. Because all of these things are flowing in a row. I have uh, a whole minister of government staying there that is going to do I don't know what in front of my mother's house. I have uh, people who have been guarding my mother for the last almost 50 years withdrawn at night. I have now a situation where my son's home is being raided for things that I don't understand. In this video, I want to explain to you guys the real reason why Kenya Kwanza government raided the residence of Uru Kenyatta's son. Before we do that, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And without any further ado, let us listen into Uru Kenyatta very briefly, talking about the issue of funding Azimio. They have been claiming that uh, you are behind the Azimio Lomoja protest and you are funding the protest. Perhaps, what do, how do you reply to these statements? You tell me, right? And I have said it severally. And that's why I keep saying, maybe silence sometimes is, is not right, yeah? But I have ignored it because I have asked myself, how? How? Yeah? What does the, the issues that Kenyans are talking about have nothing to do with me? All right? Have you seen me in any of those events? Have you seen me talk about any of those events? Yeah? Now you said because of my association with Rail, am I not supposed to talk to my friends? Is that a crime in Kenya today? Yeah? Is that a crime? Maybe you should tell me. If it's a crime, maybe you should say, oh, it is a crime to associate with this individual. With this. I... And also listen to him talking about democracy. But Uru Kenyatta talking about democracy, in my mind, he was basically referring to William Ruto as a dictator. Yeah? But I thought we lived in a democracy in Kenya. I thought, I believed. Yes? And that's why I handed over whatever. I may not have supported this government. Yes? But I accepted the will of the people, didn't I? You all saw me in broad daylight. Was I forced into that field? 
Right? See, I did what I was supposed to do. So what, 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 what else do you want? But why would William Ruto raid the residence of Uru Kenyatta son? And by the way, Denise Itumbi told us that Uru Kenyatta was not in Nairobi, plus the entire family. So the son was there. The father also arrived very, very fast. But why would Kenya Kwanza government attempt to raid the residence of Uru Kenyatta's eldest son? In my view, number one, I strongly believe that Kenya Kwanza are on a mission to create the narrative that Uru Kenyatta and Raila Molodinga are planning a coup. You know, the other day, Ogeta was uh, abducted, Raila Odinga's um, bodyguard. Do you know why he was arrested? I asked you guys that question in one of my earlier videos. The truth of the matter is that they wanted Raila Odinga and also they want to understand how Raila Odinga's security operates because they've been unable to penetrate. You remember the last time uh, Raila Odinga, the, the, Raila Odinga's advisor, this fake guy, Makao Mutua was uh, recorded, I mean, captured Ogeta with a wokitoki during those mandamano, how they were able to, to maneuver. So they wanted the details, and that's why they are holding Ogeta. So assuming they got those details from Ogeta, of course, there's nothing, there's no way they will go with it, because Raila Odinga, by law, is supposed to be secured by government. And those gadgets are actually provided by the government. But the truth is, they know, these guys knew so well that if they went into Uhuru Kenyatta's son's residence, definitely they are going to get guns. These are our total Odosi. They definitely get one or two guns. And that would just be enough. So it will help them advance their narrative that Raila and Uhuru are planning a coup. So that's, in my view, was the main thing. Number two, I'm also looking at intimidation. You see, why would William Ruto withdrew the security of Mamangina Kenyatta. Mamangina Kenyatta has survived for over 50 years with the security. For me, if I were Ruto, I would not even bother about Mamangina. But he did it. Then Kumbe, he also went and withdrew the security of the son. I'm also suspecting that maybe the security of uh, Uhuru probably were also withdrawn. Why do you think this happened? Then you go and raid the home. Basically, you are intimidating these people. And you go with a foreign plate. Intimidation, if you ask me. Number three, which I also tend to think could be the objective, is that William Ruto and Kenya Kwanza government are trying to provoke Uhuru Muge Kenyatta back into politics. You know, for a long time, Uru Kenyatta avoided commenting on politics. Even this idea of oh, funding Azimio, you know, they've kept on talking about it. Uru Kenyatta has never talked about it. He has never responded about it. But for the first time today, he was actually forced to respond. And after this incident, based on what I observed from Uru Kenyatta, maybe he might be provoked to join politics. And the question is, why do Ruto... And, and Kenya Kwanza want Uru Kenyatta in politics. They want to use Uru Kenyatta to rally the support of the mountain. And will that strategy work? If you ask me, that strategy, anti Uru Kenyatta's strategy, worked for William Ruto and he was able to win the mountain. That same same Uru Kenyatta is what, is what is going to bring William Ruto down in the mountain. I'm not sure whether the mountain will agree to what happened today. I'm not so sure. But I know for sure that the mountain might not be happy with that. So they are trying to provoke Uhuru into politics so that Uhuru can join politics. They can now then link him to Uhuru Kenya, to Raido Dinga. Then now they'll have an agenda to sell to the people of the mountain. That agenda was sold for six good years. You can't sustain it seventh year, my friend. I don't think so. The mountain, even if they lack agenda, they will not agree. So for me, they want Uru Kenyatta in politics to advance their Raila Odinga phobia. Number four, 
I want to link it also to the arrest of my Nanjenga. Why is my Nanjenga? And something has been bothering me. My Nanjenga was arrested. He's disappeared. Nothing much is happening. So they arrested my Nanjenga because probably they thought that my Nanjenga is the force who would organize a group of Kiku youths to go probably and protect Uru Kenyatta. Like if the son was to be arrested today, then Uru Kenyatta would get out. Then from nowhere, Mungiki would uh, emerge with the help of Maina Njenga. So I'm linking it to that arrest of Maina Njenga. This guy are, these guys are actually out to test something. And lastly, which is very important, Kenya Kwanza government are keen on uh, gauging the reaction of the mountain. How is the mountain reacting to Uru Kenyatta? So if they realize that the, the reaction to Uru Kenyatta is not favorable to them, then they'll leave Uru Kenyatta alone. But if they realize that the, 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 the move on Uru Kenyatta is actually making the mountain happy, then they'll proceed and force Uru Kenyatta to the political scene. But they want to gauge how will the mountain react. You, you, read the, 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 you, you remove their security, they said nothing. Then you read the, the, the sun, how will they react? Then the next day, you see Uru Kenyatta being, <laughs> being uh, raided. Then they'll be able to gauge the reaction of the mountain. I don't know what you think. But for me, William Ruto crossed the red line. And he might not survive it, politically speaking. Thank you guys and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.